Hello everyone, this is John. Welcome back to the Fat Hipster channel. And today we are going to be doing something uh, that I was supposed to be doing maybe a month or two ago, but got lost in uh, time. Mainly because I was trying to get uh, another thing for the video, and I kept losing my bids for it, but I finally got my hands on it. And today... We will be reviewing this bowl of noodles I just made, which, you know, just by the looks of it, you can tell it's going to be a tasty one. What's in this bowl of noodles? Well, I have all the ingredients here that I'm going to show you. It all starts with just a, you know, an average regular cup of noodles, except this is cup noodle pumpkin spice flavor ramen noodles in sauce and this is a limited time yeah limited edition cup noodles you know cup noodles is that noodle you find in a cup you put some water in it you throw it in the microwave and it's a lunch well they just came out this past season um, in Walmart's only Another thing that was kind of hard to find, but once it was out there, it was easier to find. Uh, the cut, the catch with this one was they kept on changing the release date, and when you went to the store the first time, it wasn't there. They didn't know what you were talking about, and when you ask for a cup of noodles, pumpkin spice, sometimes people think you're crazy. But it is Walmart, so it makes sense. Um. Usually the only times I ever step inside of Walmart is to look for the crazy things that only Walmart would put on the shelves. Um, but this is cup noodles, pumpkin spice, ramen noodles and sauce. Uh, I followed the directions on the cup because it says for the sauciest pumpkin spice, follow the directions below. You just add water to the line, microwave for three minutes, set it for two minutes afterwards, and then enjoy. But it also has a suggestion something to add on it, which I did. But before I get to that addition, here's another thing that I've been waiting for. Um, like I said a couple of times, I've had this in uh, some bidding wars on eBay, and t typically when I buy things on eBay, I know what I'd like to get it for. And if I can't get it for that, or something relatively close to that number, I'll pass. And I'll wait for it to come up again, or if it never comes up, comes up again, it's no big loss. It is what I value it as, and that's it. I don't, when I bid for things on eBay, I'll buy it for what I value it for, or potentially less. Uh, but this is Spam Limited Edition Pumpkin Spice. Now this actually, I had to get it on eBay because it didn't come out this year, it came out last year. But as you know, spam is one of the things that will still be surviving other than uh, rats and cockroaches after the apocalypse. But even if you're worried, the best buy date, it says expires August of 2022. And it's currently January of 2022. So it's perfectly safe to eat according to the can. Although, I will show you, I cut it in half because when I first opened it, it had this on the top and it was about another half of it below so I just sliced it right there and figured I'll throw this away I wasn't gonna eat the whole thing anyway but let's try to avoid black meat especially if it's not supposed to be black then it says on the cup I'll read it for you. For an even more satisfying pumpkin spice experience, try topping with whipped cream after microwaving. So that's what I did. I had this can of Ready Whip. Ready Whip is made with real cream, so it is real whipped cream. It's not like Cool Whip that's made out of hydrogenated oils. It's cream, water, sugar, corn syrup, other types of milk, um, and other ingredients such as propellants and carrageenan to keep it fresh. Yes, it's not like homemade whipped cream but it is whipped cream because it has real cream the first ingredient is cream and then on top of the whipped cream 
just for a little more zhuzh, I sprinkle a little this McCormick pumpkin pie spice on top. And this is what it looks like. Now, of course, it's been sitting a little bit since it came out of the microwave, so that whipped cream is all melted. But I'm going to add a little bit more right now, so you can see what it looks like with whipped cream on it. And I'm going to just put a little right there in the middle for you, so you know I have some fresh, tasty whipped cream on top. And just so you can see what it looked like, oop, that's a little bit more than I want to. But I just tapped a little bit of the spice back on top of the whipped cream. You know, a little dusting. We gotta look fancy here. Got my chopsticks, which are not protruding out of the bowl because that's not something you do. Put it on the side, or if you're gonna take pictures with it and you want the chopstick in it, just hold up some noodles over it and then take a picture of you holding the noodle over it. Never take pictures and post them with the chopsticks sitting down on top. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a little bit of everything. The, uh, the whipped cream is kind of melty so it's not going to stick on the chopstick. But there is a little bit on there. I can tell it's creamy on there so definitely got some whipped cream on there. Let's try this out. We have the Spam pumpkin spice, the noodles that are pumpkin spice, the whipped cream on top with a little bit of extra pumpkin pie spice. Let's give it a taste. It's definitely pumpkin spice. the sauce, which is just the powder that was in here, cooked up with the water, probably some starch from the noodles, thicken it up. It's a little sweet. It's definitely got all those cinnamon nutmegs. It's probably in here. Oh, it's got powdered pumpkin in it. So there's actually pumpkin in this. Sometimes when you get pumpkin spice, like pumpkin pie spice, this is cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, allspice, and sulfiting agents, which is, I think, keeps it from clumping up. This actually has pumpkin in it. They dried it up, turn it into a powder. Pumpkin powder. There's also onion powder, paprika, and then it just has spice. So I'm guessing the spice listed in here is just typical pumpkin pie, pumpkin spices. But I'm surprised that it had pumpkin in it. What does the spam say? I know it's pork and ham and salt, basically. Here we go. Ingredients, pork with ham, sugar, water, salt, modified potato starch, spices sodium nitrate you know they say you're not supposed to eat a ton of nitrates but every so often you can have some nitrates you can have some bacon you can have some corned beef you can have some spam just don't make it like an everyday thing you know um it kind of says serving suggestion it's just a picture of a pumpkin some cinnamon sticks but I'm assuming the spices in there are also the same or similar that are in here. Let me get a piece of the Spam by itself. When I was cooking the Spam, you might see it's like a little chart on one side. I chopped it up, threw it in a pan, um, just to get it a little cooked and crunchy. It is a little sweeter than your typical Spam. And I can tell you when I was cooking it, those pumpkin spices just filled my nostrils. It has the classic Spam texture of it like chopped, reformulated 
Pardon the interruption there. I had a knock on the door I had to get to. I was trying to ignore it, actually, but they were persistent. Anyway, back to this, which is surprisingly good. I think if you had this by itself, you would probably like it. You can't you can't really come to it thinking that you're going to have your typical bowl of cup noodles. Because it's not a typical bowl of cup noodles. It's a limited edition. It's not soupy. It's saucy. And the sauce is a little sweet. There is sugar in it. There is five grams of sugar in the cup and the spam has three grams of sugar per serving and there's six servings in the can six times three is eighteen there's eighteen grams of sugar in the whole can of spam I probably made half of it I probably put half of that half in this bowl and then, of course, we all know whipped cream. This has, oh, it says less than a gram of sugar per serving. A serving is two tablespoons. I'll put more than two tablespoons in here because I judged it twice. Nissen, Hormel, you guys should collaborate with this because although I think the noodles are tasty, and although I think the Spam is tasty, when you mix this together and like, I don't know how you would, uh, You'd still probably have to say add your own whipped cream because I don't think there's a way to do all this. You could dehydrate Spam probably and put little chunks in there. This is delicious. Um this is a uh, this review here is definitely unique I think I've seen people review this on YouTube I've seen people review this on YouTube I think this is a one out of one review here I think this combination right here you're watching me try right now is a one out of one and may forever be because there's not a lot of either one of these left Which, uh, in my opinion, makes this video worthy of a thumbs up and makes my channel worthy of your subscription. If you have not done either of those, please do so now. Please leave a comment. Do you think this was a good idea? Do you think it's disgusting? You can comment on that as well if you want. Just know that you're wrong. Mm. I'm almost disappointed that this is the only one of these two things I have.
I'll try one last thing. Well, that's even better. The addition of the whipped cream I do think is necessary in here. I think the cream mixes with the sauce that's already in there. Now maybe if you'd like to squirt some in there and mix that up first. And then right before you eat it, put a little bit more on top. The extra pumpkin spice on top doesn't help doesn't hurt either, but this is good. This is good. You should, but you can't. Or at least probably not try it. But if you could, you should. I would. Anyway, like and subscribe, all that. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.